Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to the first episode of my Traveller's Notebook series with Freckled Fawn. So this is going to be an unconventional um, Traveller's Notebook because these um, Freckled Fawn no uh, Traveller's Notebooks are actually the um, plastic sleeve page protectors and I like the size of the Traveller's Notebook um, but this was somewhere in between for me with being able to protect my pages um, without things falling off too easily. And also being challenged to create different um, design techniques as well um, in these pocket pages. So this one's gonna be a super simple one to start. I wanted one that, um, I wanted to use a, a full page photo um, to start this, um, Al this album, which you call know this notebook, this traveller's notebook. Um, so I'm starting with some sequins. All of the products that you'll see are from Freckled Form, uh, apart from the sequins. And um, there, if you haven't um, caught the last video um, from this series, there is actually a fifty dollar gift card giveaway um, that's currently running. So do head over to. Um, the first video in the series um, and make sure you do all the all the jazz in order to be entered in to win that $50 gift card. Now Freckled Fawn in addition to that have also quite kindly um, put a discount code available as well. So you need to enter Claire 10 and there's a link down below that will take you straight to the shop so click the link down below. Um, enter Claire 10 and that will get you $10 off of a $30 order. Um, so I know that uh, some of the UK peeps were um, a little concerned with the postage, but there's no need to be um, because there's a it's only one time use though. Um, there is a ten dollar off, thirty dollars, um, and it's the the code will expire um, during this series. So um, if you are interested in any of the goodies, then go over and have a look and um, make use of that discount code. So here I'm effectively using two of the sleeves. I've got the first one which is going to be my overlay and I sort of thought of this during my December daily series where I'd used acetate overlays um, over photos. I thought well I can adopt that approach and bring it into um, my traveller's notebook. So all I've done um, first off is just put some sequins down the bottom and I've fused those in to keep them in place. And what I want to do is I want to add this um, foam word that says smile. I want to add that in too, but I want it to be in that first um, protector. I don't want it to be on top of the photo. So all I'm doing here is this is the packaging. Um, and you saw there the, um, the patterned paper that I just showed you. Those are actually um, available as pre-cut uh, designs that just slot straight into this, um, this traveller's notebook. Um, which for super simple quick scrapping is brilliant in my opinion. So what I've done is I've just taken the packaging from those and I've cut down a piece um, that will, um, when I've measured it out, so basically I want sequins at the top and sequins at the bottom and then I want this word smile where I'm putting it right here but I want that to be on the front cover so when you open it, when you turn the front page it will just be the full page photo and um, not any of the embellishments. So I've stuck that onto um, a piece of this packaging because that enables me to slip that straight into the pocket and manoeuvre it where I want it to be and that you, then you can't see it's actually on packaging anyway. So um, that's going to stay in place. I've got to mess around trying to get um, the embellishments in there. So that's a great little tip. Use up your packaging, um, your clear packaging. It um, really helps with things like this, especially if you're using the clear page protectors um, because you can't see it in the pocket. So here I'm just fusing the top half and I make an absolute meal out of this. Now my fuse tool's been on for about half an hour by this stage, so I'm not too sure why it was struggling to um, fuse that shut, but I'll give it a couple of goes to make sure it is nice and secure and you can see there I've already got a hole in the um, in where I fused it so it was testing my patience this day so I just come in and just go over the line where it is just 
making sure that is firmly done up because I don't want any of the sequins falling through. I want the clear, um, the sequins at the top, sequins at the bottom, and then just that smile word in the middle. So just messing around with the fuse tool still. I'm so excited to bring you this series actually. Um, I've got quite a few of the layouts already done. I actually can't wait to share them with you. It's really sort of pushed my boundaries in terms of working in a traveller's notebook, uh, but using clear pockets um, and just trying, trying to be a bit different with it. Trying to think of new ways um, to create layouts that's somewhere between a traditional layout being that it's in a pocket and a traveller's notebook size. So I'm just sealing that up at the top there and then I'm going to pop my photo in in the next layer behind or the next sleeve behind and I mess around for quite a while trying to unstick these and um, and this is pretty much it so I don't think I do anything else I don't think I add anything else no nope, that's it um so that's ready just to go back in my traveler's notebook cover so thank you very much for joining me today a nice easy one to get the series started and I will be back um, videos are going up every Monday Wednesday and Friday so if you're new subscribe uh, if you've enjoyed it give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you Wednesday bye